do something. Okay, anyways, let me stop complaining about that and let's go ahead and go over to the Iron GM reveal. Crappy, take us past the Schwarzenegger. Ah, so for this round, the first round of Cusa Grande, we gave the players three different GMs they could choose from. If they chose the same GM, that's who they ended up. And if they secretly voted for different GMs, then they ended up with the one that neither of them chose. Who were the GMs presented to the players? Well, we had Iron GM, Tag and Dragon, the silveriest of them all, NPC Lives. We also had Iron GM, where the heck have you been? Our dear friend, Flannel Cat, where the heck have you been? Oh, I guess that, that name is there for a reason. Uh, Iron GM, shut up, I'm making my video games. It's me, I'm only making one. Procentia, yay! Honestly, there was some pretty good discussion about uh, the reasons people choose different GMs. And honestly, it's just, it's not really Prisoner's Dilemma. It's just uh, a dilemma that there's no way to solve until the votes have been cast. And as it turns out, Meekins decided to go for NPC. Our other player, Venbright, went for me, which means that Flannel Cat is the wonderful, amazing GM for this match. Flannel Cat, come and chat with me. I would love to hear your thoughts about the game that we're giving out. The Flannel Cat. Hey, maybe. Flannel Cat. Flannel Cat, where are you? Flannel Cat. Let me, let me message you in Discord real quick. Let Crappy walk across on Schwarzenegger's face. That's where we all want to be. Never mind. Never mind. That's where none of us want to be. <laughs> Flannel cat. Flannel cat. Does everybody love running crappy? Oh my gosh. Uh, I need to do more crappy animations. I have crappy in Blender, not in a Blender. Although that that would probably be an improvement as well. Just, that's a new animation. <gasps> I could do an animation of Crappy in Blender in a Blender. Ooh, ooh, okay, I like that idea. Crappy in a Blender. Oh. Why have Umber been disturbed? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, as it turns out, neither player chose you. I know. I'm very upset. As I mentioned in the room chat, my disappointment is immeasurable. <laughs> Oh, you sound you sound so disappointed. Honestly, <laughs> though, I was always hoping for this game to show up, and uh, I was considering that I might try to give it out for uh, the Hotfix Grudge match at some point because I love this game. Well, it's one of my favorite video games ever. I think I've tried to give this out a couple times, but it never has worked uh, because it's it's a little more well known than some games that show up on Cusa Grande. At the same time, we've never had it. I think I've spent Kuso 6 trying to give this game out. And uh, it's, it's shown up in, in uh, what's that thing? Gauntlet before. Oh yeah, it has. I'm really amazed that you've, like, out of all the people who, you know, haven't played it, it's two people in brackets. Right? We finally made it happen. Yeah. What game do we have? Uh, I, I bring you the lovely, delightful, delicious, and delectable Pac-Land on the TurboGrafx-16. Look at it! Look at him! He's got his cute little hat! Got He's cute... a red mage in this game. He is a red mage, although I think nobody is going to be green because of how many times he's going to die, you know? We'll, we'll leave Envy out of this. Instead, maybe Pity. What color is Pity? Like, purple? Um... Purples? What is purple? Like, we can talk about that movie with the emotions, and I don't know what... The purple was not Pity. I don't think Pity was in that movie. Well, that's dumb. Pity should have been in there. Pity should have been in that movie. It would probably be brown, I gotta be honest. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the brownest Pity of them all. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, Flannel Cat, where the okay. heck have you been? Uh, honestly, um... I moved last year, which I guess isn't much of an excuse, but it's an excuse I have. Oh, it's a good excuse. That's a good excuse. Through another wedding and then basically burnt myself out trying to like be like do things and sign up for things and 
starting to feel a little more human. I became a professional pinball player since I was last on Cusa Grande. Uh, yeah. And I competed in my state finals. That's really cool. By professional, is it like, do they give you money? Do you get prizes? If I if I win, yes. Did you do well enough to get a monies? I have gotten money before, but not at the final. Oh my gosh. Still, getting money to play pinball? That's nuts. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Cool. Yeah, that's really cool. Oh, by the way, I... Uh... I was telling chat before, I submitted to possibly get a fellowship for puzzle game making. Uh, oh. And I sent that submission in today, so that's that was really exciting that, for that me. feels like a thing you deserve. Uh, I don't know if I'll get it, but like, you know, that gave me a very solid reason to be like, okay, I've got Magpie, I want to work on Magpie, let's go ahead and get Magpie at least to a, a point where it's kind of out there and you know i can work on it later and add more content but let's get the basics done and so yeah i've got basic magpie out there and it makes me happy Fantastic. you're gonna have to recrop these because the bottom's gonna go to the there's gonna be text down there that's uh, very important <laughs> well in that case let me yell at them bright because i don't think the bottom of the game is captured well, we'll see what it looks like when the game starts. You just might have to recapture a little bit there. But... No, like part, like oh, Meekins has yeah. more space at the bottom than Vembrite does. Yeah. Tell them to like at least like maybe hit start and see if it says round one at the bottom. Okay, I'm asking them both to go inside the stage so I can capture. So don't worry, we got this, everybody. We're professionals here at Cusa Grande. And by this is a good video game, yes, but don't worry. There's fun for you coming. With a capital F. Fart? No, not fart. Are you sure? More than one F word, Grosentia. <laughs> I love that there's like a classic story about these, like this Mormon family and their kid goes up and says, Then, just go into the freaking level. Oh my gosh, when I tell you to go into the level, go into the level, please. Please go into the freaking level. Uh, okay, I'm not gonna yell at them for real, so. <laughs> this when I ask you to go into the level. Go into the level, it's not that hard. That way I can see if we can actually see the important information. Uh, we can barely see it. Okay. Uh, I think that'll work. Yeah, that's fine. Fine. It's not perfectly lined up here, but it's close enough. And I Good can... Good enough. Oh my gosh, this music. I love this music. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Oh, yeah, I... Today has been flustered Cusa Grande Day. Cusa Grande Day. Just with uh, some setup, there were some issues uh, that we were able to get through, though. And now uh, I can breathe, and now you can breathe, and now we are both going to breathe and laugh. Maybe loud exhales, even. I will promise some laughter. Uh, some Some jolliness? Mild cavorting? Is that a thing? Sure. sure. Conf con okay. <laughs> cavort. I'm talking, to I'm asking if they are both set. All right. So what, what is game? I, I see people in chat are already yelling pro, which is great. Uh, yeah, uh, let's go ahead and ignore that because we're doing the countdown. Everybody get all of your Pac-Man slash ghost emotes and spam them as well as fire hydrants. Uh, what else? Um, fire hydrants, ghosts, uh, fairies, uh, keys, and baseball. 
baseball. But I I thought this wasn't Pac-Man. I thought this was Pac-Man, Pac-Land, not Pac. Not oh, the... there will be base. There will be baseball. Don't worry. Oh, okay, good. So, Pac-Land, as we all know, is one of the greatest video games of all time, and we love Pac-Land here in this house. Indeed. However, when you finish Pac-Land, you uh, you went. Oh wow! I, I keep seeing cars drive across Ben Bright's screen, and I expect them to show up in Meekins for some reason. <laughs> 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 That's beautiful. It looks like Meekins is through round one. So here's the deal. I've actually beaten the game on regular difficulty. Uh, pro difficulty, though, is impossible. Uh, and I think we're going to very quickly start seeing why. Although, both of the players are through round one pretty dang quickly, and I love it. Yeah, pro round one, th uh, trips one through four are not too bad. It'll be a nice warm up on, like, what is this game doing to me? When we start to get past that, these things, um, they're going to start moving quicker and quicker and quicker again, and people will have to realize you can stand on top of the enemies, which they'll find out on accident, I'm completely sure. Oh, for sure. Yeah, as it turns and, out, uh, ghosts are only deadly from three sides. You can stand on a ghost, I've done it. If ghosts touch your feet, you're totally safe. You, if ghosts touch your feet, it's pretty neat. If ghosts touch so, your head, you're really dead! Specifically in pro mode, um, this is only in the TurboGrafx-16 version, and it is a much, much, much harder version of this game. It is the same levels and theoretically the same ghost layouts. Everything moves a little bit quicker than it should, and it's going to exponentially accelerate as we progress through this video game. Yeah, it's like if you are playing on basic difficulty, everything gets a little bit faster, but there's a difference between a little bit faster and a lot faster. And we're, we're going to see the second one as this yeah. goes. And, uh, like, I, I don't want to spoil too much of the fun because I think everybody is going to start getting a taste of this. I saw the Galaga... Sp was it Galaga or whatever yep. it is? That was the Galaga sprite. That'll give you 7,650 points. That's a lot. Is that enough uh, for an extra life? Um, no. <laughs> it's, I think it's 20,000 for life. Oh, so that bright! So close! People are going to have to figure out how to get over these pits of water, which you really just have to, uh... This is one I feel bad. You gotta mash a little bit. That's... <laughs> you know, you don't have to mash hard. You'll be okay. Okay, so you ma... After jumping on the springy thing, you have to mash while you're in the air? Yep. Did you and tell this them is why that? You... No. Good. <laughs> They'll figure it They'll out. Figure it's it fine. Out. We got smart players. Someone did not continue correctly and is now in the water. Yeah, question. Uh, Ven is like, okay, Ven just had a question yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. So they are allowed them a to heads go up back if to the they, stage. If they fail to continue, which is what happened there, because it's very easy to pick the wrong option, you just go straight back to the stage you were on with the skip menu. Perfect. However, do not go to stage 31. That's too far ahead. Um, they are not permitted to use pro, uh, Turbo on this. Yeah, uh, so in general, the TurboGrafx-16 does have a Turbo mode on the controller. We talked to the players, uh, Turbo does affect the gameplay, but I actually think that it's a little bit easier to control without Turbo. Uh, at it least, is. At least <laughs> from my experience, yeah, you're being kind. It also makes you move faster. Uh, with a few wrinkles in there. So we, um... And also, if they're going to use turbo, we need to set it to a very specific method of two buttons, or uh, two presses on, two presses off. Otherwise, um... It, they're just gonna... What's the right term that I'm trying to think of here? I saw oh, Ben Bright hover for a little bit, by the instead. way. I, I think Meekins is trying to figure out how this freaking yeah. hover works. Okay, both of the players figuring it out. Uh... JK. <laughs> yeah, they're hovering. They're just not getting across. They're they're doing it entirely uh Hmm. It's okay. Uh they'll yep. figure it out. Like I've got faith in our players. I am 100% okay with them struggling on a springboard. Yeah, by the way, how do you control in this game? 
So the players, I gave them the option of using either control method to use either the D-pad or the buttons to move. And both players, being absolutely amazing, have opted to use the buttons to move. Meekins figured out the mesh button and has typed in Discord question marks. <laughs> and I agree with that. Oh, it's the baseball fairies. What is wrong with the with with the gif you shared? Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so yeah, both of them. So the original arcade version of the game, as far as I'm aware, uh, it did use buttons in order to move left and right. That wasn't uh, it, it wasn't like a joystick to move left or right. You had to push buttons, and because of that, they sort of kept true to it with the console releases. What's wonderful about the NES version of the game is, first off, it's really, really bad, but also uh, this music is really good. And, but, uh, but also with the NES version, uh, if you plug in controller 2, that will control Pac-Man with our loved and known left-right to go left-right and A and B are your jump button. But if you use controller one, then you get the nightmarish, the D-pad is jump, and A and B are left and right. Mm -hmm. uh, and I say nightmarish because it just takes a while to get used to. And um, the, the Pac-Land arcade cabinet just has three buttons on it, more or less, and no deep, and no analog stick or anything, or no stick or anything. That makes sense. So- But you know, yeah. it's a game that predates Super Mario Brothers. It was pioneering the side-scrolling platform and didn't really have a basis on what to do yet. Oh my gosh, Venbright still hasn't figured out the hover. That's okay. We have time. We have time. The The thing is, like, during the first half of the match, usually in Cusa Grande, you're learning how to play the game. And it's the second half that really is the show of effort. Uh, that's not with the case of all games. Like, if you're playing Dora the Explorer for Game Boy Advance, <laughs> that one, you really don't have to spend too much time learning how to play the game. Uh, and you just want to go as quickly as you can. However... In a game like Pac-Land, where you die and die and die and die and die, the second half of the match is what's really going to matter. Yeah, figuring out the little silly idiosyncrasies of the game ah! is just... It's really going to help you out in the long run here. And what Ven is doing is experimenting with the springboard, which is great. And uh, it should help him get to where he needs to be with this. And there we go, Vembright dying. Let's see if Meekins can, yeah, doing the flow. Oh, watch out, the baby ghosts are gonna help. Oh, jumped right into the ghost after landing on the ground. So on regular mode, that's not so bad. It's pretty easy to get through that. Yeah, the ghost probably won't hit you. Since everything moves faster, uh, no, that suddenly becomes an extraordinarily deadly situation. And, you know, despite running this game for how many years at this point, all the ghosts kind of act a little bit differently. They still have a little bit of personality to them. And uh, all you need to worry about is we don't like the blue ghosts in this house. <laughs> we do like Pac-Man jumping into water, though. Big fan. Mash, mash, Pac jump while sprint. you're in the air! Try, you gotta do everything you can. One of our players has figured it out. As per Cusa Grande tradition, we do not reveal any of the secrets that one player has learned because that would be... Uh, they earned it. They earned this knowledge that they have. Uh, mm -hmm. so, Especially if they figured it out pretty quickly. They're almost. They're just they're just yeeting up into the air. I, I believe in Venbright. And we'll see, like, because I'm not saying anything. But, I mean, if Meekin wants All I'm saying, this. yeah, all I'm saying is that I've got faith that you can figure it out. So, ah, oh, the water got Meekins! So, Meekins is on round seven, which introduces my favorite character in Pac-Land history. The character I lovingly call Satan, which is the water sprouts that we're seeing. Oh, yeah. Uh, if Satan grabs you, he will drag you down to hell. I'm... So, 
not today, Satan, is really where we are with this. I, I remember when you and I, like, I played this at SGDQ last year because you tempted me. Uh, and unfortunately, I fell victim to it. And by unfortunately, I'm really glad I played this. I had a lot of fun. Uh, but yeah, like, by the end, I was just yelling at Satan so much. <laughs> Like, round 31 is really, really a mess. Brings which me, is where... Yeah. Go ahead. Go it ahead. It brings me back to my religious days, you know, yelling at Satan. <laughs> it's good stuff. Mikan shouting, oh no, Pac-Man. Oh no, Pac-Man. Yeah, Pac-Man got getched. He got getched. Our runners, our runners have been pretty vocal in the match chat, which is my favorite type of match chat, honestly. Yeah, I love talkative match chat usually that means that the players are like at least understand that this is not a good game or at least are very frustrated with what's happening okami of games did show up in chat just like they would and said oh this is good games grande let, let me go ahead and ask you cat if this is a good game which maybe it is why is it here this promo is not good <laughs> It is, it's fun to a point. And, oh, we're going past that point, don't worry. Oh my gosh. It is mean, it's oppressive, and it's not meant for humans to complete. I have heard of one person completing it, ever. So, y'all want to go and set the pro mode world record? The board is waiting for you. Yeah, then brought here's the deal. In Cusa Grande, when you keep trying the same thing over and over, the general rule of thumb is stop doing that. Do something else. Uh, and Venbright is doing a little experimenting. I have seen Venbright hover a little bit. Uh, unfortunately, the minion ghost just pogoed on his head and killed him, so that's unfortunate. Yeah, I'm calling him the minion. You, you saw him. He looked like a minion. Uh, absolutely. And, you know, like you say with Crusoe Grande, if something gets you stuck, try something. Try anything. Hit buttons. Wiggle joystick. The old Ninja Turtles arcade advice. Meekin's clearing trip two. Doing a, a decent lead right here, but it is still only 12 minutes into this match. So anything can There's change. Anything can happen. Plenty of time. Yeah, and Vembright can figure this out. Like the, it can be really frustrating when you're a player in Cusa Grande to not know how a specific mechanic works. Uh, I can understand the frustration, but the biggest thing, just keep trying everything that you can. And Venbright, I think, got a little bit of a hover there. Like, Ven Venbright hopefully is paying attention to do that and is like, something was happening. He keeps almost seeing the hover. Like, he keeps almost getting there. And just, I don't know. I, I think they're... He's convinced right now that it's like a positioning thing, which you you can get more distance on a position, but you you really just need to to press buttons. Yeah, uh, and I'm not gonna spoil it. I'm not gonna tell the players how to do it. This could be a Bangora Bangara Memorial Turret Room situation, uh, which. For those of you who don't know, back in the early days of Cusa Grande, when we had two hour challenges, we had one player stuck on a single room of Rockman X for about two hours. Like, they, they did go to other rooms in order to, like, try things out, but then they'd always go back and go to the same turret room, and it was about two hours of no progress, and it was so good! <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, then right hovered there again. Oh, 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 okay, okay. We've got a little hovering there. Dodge and Sue. Sue is the, girl that ch the ghost that chases you around. Dodging Sue. You can also just jump on top of Sue and ride her over the water if you do it right. Oh, yeah. If you... But I don't think the players know you can jump on top of the ghost yet. Okay. Yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll see. They keep walking up to it and jumping and stopping? I'm very confused. I think what they were trying to do was jump over and over on top of it and... Oh my gosh, Vembrite, come on! Oh, I'm gonna die! 
My heart! My heart! Still, only 15 minutes in. Meekins is going to get walled at some point. Yeah. Because this game is going to get oppressive, and then we'll see. One thing that we do recommend as well with Cusa Grande is that uh, if you are going to be playing, you are allowed to watch the demo mode before starting the game. And I would wager that there is one of the platform sections in the demo mode. You know, I don't actually know. It's possible. Huh. I do know the demo mode gets a little confused sometimes. Oh my gosh. It doesn't These quite go the way you need it to. A little too fast. A little. Oh, the beak was just right down on beacons. This is pro <laughs> mode, everybody. This is what you've all been waiting for. All of your Kusa lives. You're gonna go. You see Meekins grabbing the power pellets, which is slower, but also makes you live. And the ghosts kind of have a, have a random chance if they're gonna jump straight up or over you every time they're on that. Alright. These are the kind of valley stages. I still don't think most of these are much harder on Pro. They are still just kind of the stage because there's very few enemies in them. As we get much further into this game and they start getting filled with enemies, it's gonna get a little bit spicier. I mean, this yeah. game is spicy enough anyway. Why do we need a pro version? It's bad and it should feel bad. No, it's a fantastic video game. Thank you. I would say that non-pro version is actually legitimately fun. This version is fun, but oh boy, more fun for me. I I absolutely adore this video game. <laughs> that and, doesn't uh, make it good. Oh, I know, but it also makes it fantastic. Thank you. Oh my gosh, yeah, we've got Venbright still on round three and almost figuring out. Oh, Ven, Ven in chat saying, did I see that correctly? I'm Is it time? Maybe. Ma see, maybe. this is one of the bad things about you not allowing turbo because if you did allow turbo, they wouldn't have to mash here. They would just yeah. hold the button. Have as many as you want. But you know. Oh, oh. Oh, oh there okay, was a hover! Please. There they was a hover! Seen it. They had to have seen it. They had to have seen it. Nope, nope, just kidding. <laughs> they are typing in chat. I think they're starting to notice there's something going on with that. Yeah, I'm just letting Ven know. I can't say anything. I'm sorry. Uh, just, just because, like, I, I feel like saying that, like, you're close would be bad. Uh, but I also, like, don't want to want him to think that I'm ignoring him. Instead, I am just laughing over here because this game is certainly a game. There's plenty of time for the players, though. There's plenty I mean, of time. I mean, I'm ignoring his flight because this is Cusco Grande, and this is Brackets. Yeah, it's Brackets. My heart can feel. <laughs> My heart. And also, I can be unfeeling. Perfect. And everything you need to know is right there. <laughs> <laughs> Look, that, that's what we told off for Messed Up Gradius 3. <laughs> then saying, I do admit I've never been this stuck in a Kuso before, and like, oh my gosh, Had welcome to sometime. Welcome to Kuso Grande, Kuso Grande problems. There is always that game to somebody. You never know when the when the Kryptonite's gonna show up. Oh, absolutely. And honestly, like, I think this game is a little bit gentle. Not pro mode, but you know, <laughs> Ben's not stuck on a pro mode feature. Oh, not yet. That, oh, that, 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 that. Gordon, how you doing? Jumping in the uh, the middle of some car accidents there. How am I doing? I I'm back from um clearly my work, you know, doing a 40th birthday party for me, or maybe it was the awards show that we oh canceled. My God. You know, a while ago. 
<laughs> you floated for a moment. I'm sorry. Corn bash, bash, jump! You nope. gotta bash! You gotta something, bash! Something, something's clicking! Venbrite's so close to figuring it out! Come on! Yeah, happy birthday, Cornet. Well, my, my birthday's actually Thursday. Well, then why are we having but, a know. birthday party today? Oh my gosh. Because we're not going to have it on Thursday. Oh. Well, happy early birthday, Cornet. Happy early birthday. Your, your, my present to you, I guess, is guest jamming this much. <laughs> I suppose so. And now I have mystery Korean soda to enjoy. Ooh, what flavor? Or mystery? I have no idea. All right. Well, taste it and tell us what you think you taste. The, the only English on ah! the bottle is carbonated Come on. soft drink. Come on. Carbonated what? <laughs> soft drink. Oh, okay. Like, all right, Meekins, Meekins has entered the, um, oh, wait, never mind. Meekins has passed the, the mansion. Yeah, never we're, mind. We're past the soft drink. Meekin did say that that part was pretty spooky, and I agree. Ah! We're back to the Satan fields. Oh, the fields of Satan. Uh, Corndan, I got to play this at SGDQ. I actually really enjoyed playing this game. I, yeah, I, I did had... not, but I can appreciate <laughs> that people like it. Yeah, I, like, had, I, I, had, I had a better time of it than, than apparently Vin is having. Yeah, <laughs> but you also figured out the jump a little faster. The, I, 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 had, have... I had turbo and just hit the button. Yeah, that's did... probably why. I did have Procentia play this at GDQ. I also yeah. had the lovely David TKI play this at GDQ, oh, who yeah. now speedruns the video game. David and, is in um... chat, by the way. Hi, David. And then uh, Rujasu also Rujasu fifty five also picked up the speed run, Ooh. and uh, everyone is killing it. Now we have a community around running this game. Aw, that's really cool. Uh, How, so for oh, everybody's ahead. sake, mystery Korean soda is like strawberry lemon, and I kind of really like it. Ooh, I like mysteries, especially that mystery. Big fan of mystery. Oh my gosh, Fed right so close! So close! Oh my goodness. Ah! Oh my goodness. Do you think do you think he got it that time? I, I think Venbright got two hovers while in the air, so yes, I think so. Oh my gosh. All it is is you keep pushing jump. No, JK, you don't push jump, you push left or right. And that I lets really you fly. love it. How Meekin's just kind of burning through the game and is up the halfway point right now. And we're just enamored with Venbrite attempting to do this. It's like, as whole... much as I care about how Meekin's is doing here, I want Venbrite to do it! Just keep pushing it! Stop letting go of left and right! Just mash, 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 mash! Keep going, keep going! You got it! Oh, you got to! Let's go! All right, now does he know what he did? Do I? No. Because you gotta do it the other way. Well, the other way is a little bit easier because <laughs> you have the flying shoes and so you're always gonna be jumping yep. pretty much. Uh, Ven said, do I even remotely understand how that works? No, am I pleased as punch? Yes. Uh, it's it's not galaxy brain though. Oh, Pac-Man's asleep. Like, it, yeah, it's he's, actually he's... a very easy mechanic to understand. It's just, you've got to push it multiple times. Ah, Venbrite he's, is going to have a lot gonna of those in the one on, Yeah. He's going to get the one on stage five or whatever. And I, I forget the next time we're going to see it, but it's going to happen again. Yeah, honestly. Yeah, at this point, um, getting a 22-minute time on the first four trips is very good, actually. <laughs> Yeah, that's very impressive. Uh, with that said, everything's going to start walling Meekins very, very quickly, and that will give Venbright a lot of time to catch up. Ah! Oh, you decide to return and kiss the ghost! Did, did that ghost just lick you? Yep. Sue is there, and she wants blood. All so right, Ven knows what he's... Or not Ven, that's that's Meekins. Never mind, I take it all back. Yeah, Ven... Meekins knows what they're doing. Ven I just forgot the city, who and where I was for a moment. All right, Ven Bright is moving. A yeah. nice, gentle car stage. Yeah! Faster not gentle! Car, 
Just to get well, in front of the car. If you don't get run over. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. So, everybody, if you've played Smash Brothers, you've definitely see seen some of the stuff from this game. Like, okay, maybe not Smash Bros. 64, but any of the more modern Smash Bros. Because, like, the, the, the fire hydrant shows up, and some of the other things probably show up. Uh, and But this is still kind of like a... It feels like a fever dream that this was a real thing for Pac-Man. I don't know. Oh, absolutely. Like, when it comes to just what kind of games can we make with Pac-Man, this is a really, really weird direction to take the series in. Honestly, I would say that maybe it makes more sense than Pac-Man 2, although I really love Pac-Man 2 as well. I, I do enjoy Pac-Man 2. It's just... It's a little shallow. It's neat, though. It, it has a concept. I can I can hate the game and appreciate what they were trying to do. Did you Absolutely. just say it's shallow? That's not what I was thinking. The mechanics are deep. He mad? He hit things. That's 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 like the extent of all he is. Okay. Right, ben, and look, ben, Ben's got it figured out. Ben has it figured oh out, and we gosh. are moving forward. Yeah, ben yeah like, you know, gonna make progress. I'm not gonna let that ghost go by, but you know, it happens. Yeah, and the reason why I call Pac-Man 2 a little bit shallow is just because, like, more games came out that play like that that are a lot more involved. Okay. And it did pioneer that. It was the first one, so I'll give it back credit. Yeah, by the way, the person who, uh, like, the main lead for this game actually uh, had a decent number of games to the repertoire, but I see, like, Tech and Card Challenge. That's not related to this at all. And, like, Star <laughs> Wars for NES. Wait, Namco Star Wars? Are you talking about Saucity Vader? I'm talking about Saucity Vader. Saucity Vader Man made this game. It all comes back to Saucity Vader. Oh, at thank some goodness. Point. I love. Maybe that's why you love Namco Star Wars. You know, I, I went to the store the other day to buy some stuff and um i'm checking out and i'm i'm buying what is it, the miracle of all mana on the the fds okay and the guy's just like oh, i've never heard of this one it's no sessori vader but i'm like what <laughs> what is this the reference you're making right now yeah the fact oh. that you like understood the reference that is amazing right and i'm like well i do love that game but you know you don't have it <laughs> I can always respect if someone's gonna bring up Sasori Vader. Yeah, did he, did he laugh because he understood what he was talking about? I hope so. <laughs> I certainly hope he appreciated me appreciating. And that let me joke. just say, Sasori Vader, much easier than freaking whatever the other one is that you talked about, Hana no Miracle, the the one Miracle that... of Amano. <laughs> Oh, Corn Dan and I raised. Oh no no no! Never mind. I think that one might be better than Saucity Vader. I was thinking of the one that like broke one of our players. Uh, because never mind. Never mind. He calls it. Okay, cool. I'm on board. Let's go. Uh, but yeah yeah yeah. I'm really glad that we found the Saucity Vader connection. What about the person who made the music for this game for Pac Man? Huh? Uh, they did. Wow, I love that they're not credited for anything after Pac-Land until an, a music stage on a music game in 2021. <laughs> Incredible. Oh. And is it the Pac-Land theme or uh, something? <laughs> it's Music Advance Stage 3 for Kira Kira Star Knight EXA, whatever All that right. means. Uh, but he also did the music for Xevious, uh, Super Xevious, for Pole Position 2, the original Pole Position, Dig Dug, uh, we've got Pac-Mania here. Like, basically, if you think of old-school arcade, like, pre-fighting game, he probably worked on it, is what I'm seeing here. So, Mikan just found a really, really silly interaction that you probably usually don't see until, I don't know, round 29. And you know how we mentioned that you can stand on top of enemies, right? Yeah. So, if you're standing on top of something and it's moving up and down, 
it will drag you through whatever platforms you may or may not be oh, yeah. standing by. So Mikkens jumped and landed on a mini ghost and it dragged them through the cloud platform into the pit because they were standing on it. And it's like, that's your platform you're on. Oh, I love it. <laughs> yeah. Right now, Meekins is starting to run into the wall that we fully expected to happen. Uh, like, this game gets very, very brutal very, very quickly. Uh, Absolutely. Mind you, we're 30 minutes into this, and there's still plenty of chance for Vembrite to catch up because of just how steep the difficulty goes up. Uh, Absolutely. They figured out the thing they need to do, and 18 is a wall. Specifically, it is a harrowing stage because not only do you have this kind of uh, canyon platforming with the dumps here, you also start to get ghosts on planes and stuff, which if on your first time through this game on non-pro, you can use them as platforms very easily to make these jumps a lot easier. On pro, they're just moving way too fast. Uh, yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm just thinking, I, I remember playing this. One important thing to keep in mind as well is sort of like the, the checkpointing system, because it's both helpful and in some... Yeah, like, it, it's actually really, really helpful. Like, Meekin's yeah. dying there, managed to hit the checkpoint, and skip having to do that pit again. However, there are some cases where it won't actually fast forward you, and knowing where the helpful checkpoints are can end up being advantageous oh my gosh yeah this game will death warp you forward if you're uh if you're paying attention we've got mansion all right we've got mansion two this is one you can soft lock in very good uh oh wait really if you jump in the wrong spot and glitch through a door you can probably soft lock yourself here that's fun. Now they're going to run backwards and find a key because they've only got closed doors in front of them. Oh, no, they spent all their keys foolishly, so now that they can do is They die. spent one key. One all key. of their keys foolishly. One key. Yep. Got to go over this door. <laughs> this is so fair. <laughs> this is a fair and well-balanced video game that uh, was brought to you by the makers of this game. I love this game. I love this game, too. Oh. Like, unironically, I think it's tons of fun. And honestly, I hope to one day beat pro mode. Oh, no one's beating pro mode. No, I would beat pro mode. Rujasu is starting to theoretically run the half game category, and I have a time in the half game category also. So I encourage everyone to run the the 16 round route but after this like it just becomes almost impossible to beat like when you start getting to later 20s how could they publish a game that you can't beat that's ridiculous you, you know you think it <laughs> and like that's wild but i don't care how long you've play tested this game for there's no way that you play these later rounds in promo and say this is fine I, look, it's only r the very final round of the game that you haven't beaten, right? Uh, no. Oh. No. Oh, okay. God, like, uh, what, uh, Rujasu in chat will help me out. Is it 26 or something that's just, I don't know, probably impossible? Ah, the ghost got fit right! Ah! Oh, you're almost home, though. Nope, you're gonna have to do the whole 20... shoe section. That's fine. 25. 25. 25, I don't think I've cleared the first jump. Wait, are you serious? Ah! Uh-huh. And people have... I know one person who has beaten it, though, is the thing. I know one person who has beaten pro mode, start to finish. No cheats. And Mikkins is in stage 20, which is... lovingly called Ghosts on Strike. There are two whole ghosts, and that's it. You're just kind of running. Sue's gonna get really upset now in a second and start time charging out. them. Uh -oh. oh. When you run out of time, the ghost that chase you, Sue, just gets very fast. Okay, so you actually legitimately... Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, so Rujasu in chat is saying, I legitimate... I do not believe that people have beaten this. Okay. I know one person who has. Who has beaten Packland. Uh, yep. 
Well, I feel like I need to prove everybody wrong. Except for I know that the one last, person. The last stage, they wrote down the every single spot a ghost comes in in what order that they come by, and pause buffered the whole way through it. Yeah, I mean, pause buffering is a legit speedrunning strat slash playing Pac-Land strat. Yeah, you do have to memorize, because there's no RNG in where the ghosts spawn on that stage unless you start moving backwards. So as long as you just know exactly where they are at all times, you'll be fine. <laughs> Beacons! The water pushed you into a car! Like, no, I feel like if people can manage to, like, essentially solve Super Mario 1, Pac-Land has to be solvable. Come on. Oh, yeah. I, I, it's... You can theoretically do it. It's gonna be really impressive. I can see people riding... Like, there's a way to get to the point where Sue doesn't kill you and rides... And sends you along the top of the screen. And theoretically, you could do something along those lines, but it's not reliable as far as I can tell. You've got infinite continues. That's reliable enough for me. Yeah. Just getting it done right. However, I, I also wouldn't want... Like... If there's a way to cheese it, I don't want to know. Like, <laughs> I want to, like, no cheese. I want to do it without cheese, okay? Cheeseless, lactose intolerant run, okay? Mikan's posing in chat. Why do ghosts need buses anyway? <laughs> I mean, that's a really decent question. I mean, this is Pac Land, not Ghost Land. Come on. This is a question of, of want versus need. They might not need buses, but maybe they enjoy the experience. That's that's like the argument where people are always just like, why did you make Sonic drive a car? And like, just because he can run everywhere, doesn't mean he wants to run everywhere. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe Sonic... he likes driving. I like maybe driving. Sonic's true passion is owning an Aston Martin Vantage. And that's that's why he's saving all those rings. Right? That's an expensive <laughs> car. Beacon getting caught up in the water there. I and love getting it. Getting pushed halfway through the stage. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yep, nope. Meekins is in Meekins is in hell right now, basically. So question for you actually. Uh-huh. Uh I forget what my question is. Was this uh Turbo Turbo Graphics wasn't as popular in the US, but I believe this uh, the Turbo Graphics did come out in the U.S. and was this one of the games that came out over here, or was it just? No, this uh, this is one of the games that came out here. Okay. Um, you can tell because Pac-Man has the Hanna Barbera eyes and not the Pac-Man eyes. Why does that make a difference? Um. Oh wait, no, is it the other way around? I forget which way it is, but in one version he's got really big wide eyes. And in the other one, he doesn't. And as well, there's the little animals from the Hanna-Barbera cartoon, which is what this is based off of. There was a Hanna-Barbera Pac-Land cartoon? What? Here it was. <laughs> no. Why? Why? Oh my gosh. Okay, let me... Then Bright is, well, I guess it didn't click, but learning you can stand on top of the fire hydrants, which push you to the top of the screen, and you can stand on the roofs of the buildings in the city areas. So you can, um, I believe Rajasi uses a strategy where they push up onto one of the rooftops in one of the buildings, or one of the levels, and just ride the seal the roofs the whole way through, and you're above most of the ghosts. Yeah. Okay. The uh, intro theme to the Pac-Man Pac cartoon, I always remember, because it's like a really bad Batman voice yelling, Pac-Man! Look at this freaking picture. This is creepy. I don't like this, okay? Mm-hmm. No. I mean, Shout it's so to, good. Shout out to Miss Pac-Man, wherever she is. Uh, yeah, she had some, she certainly had some hair. <laughs> uh, okay, however, I have to wonder, like, what what is the plot of the Hanna-Barbera show? Oh, guess what? It's probably, there's, like, the plot of every single Hanna-Barbera show. There's a witch that controls the ghosts. I forgot her name. Okay. And they kind of do her bidding and something about power pellets. I don't remember. Uh... 
Upon its just debut, it was watched here. by an audience of over 20 million children in the U.S. in addition to adults. I'm going to go ahead and push doubt on that one, okay? Because... <laughs> oh, I mean, I'm, I'm saying, sure it was. Saying it was only <laughs> children watching it that they counted that number, there's literally no way they could have done that. That's how many TV sets were tuned in, nerds. Well, here's all you need to worry about, right? 20 million children could have watched it if it was on, like, ABC or something. And that's what's important. There were at least, like, maybe 500,000 adults in their 30s, like... Well, yeah, but we, we don't care their about alarm. them. They set their alarm to wake up. Oh, well, I care about that. That's me. I'd, I'd, I'd wake up to watch Pac-Man, the cartoon. I mean, it depends on if it was any good or not. <laughs> So I mean, I'm a pretty big fan of watching cartoons that aren't great. Like I like bad media. Yeah. Like, you what know, is, I, uh... not... Oh, Van Bright, time out! The ghosty gotcha! <laughs> Alright, he is basically through the stage and yeah. has one life. So. See, I told you Van Bright was going to start catching up, everybody. Nah, y'all doubted me, huh? How did you, how could you I doubt mean, me? I agreed with you. I said Meekin's going to get walled somewhere because this game is brutal. Venbright's gonna catch up and we're gonna have ourselves a race. So, do you know what the pack dog is named? Pack dog. No. Okay. There's. What is it? I think dog there's man? a dog in this picture. Uh, Chomp Chomp. I don't think it's. I don't think it's dog man. No, it's Chomp Chomp. And then their cat. Oh. Do you know their cat was Sourpuss. That's a great cat name, though. Yeah. Let's let's like let's let's just really hear it for Pac Man here. So apparently the power pellets was uh, the spinach of Pac-Land, or Pac-Man, the Hanna-Barbera cartoon. Which makes sense, but like, we already had it. We already had Popeye. We didn't need freaking Popeye 2, okay? I don't want Pac-Man to be Popeye 2. That's dumb. We need Popeye 2 now. What about the Popeye saves the world pinball machine? Pop is there a Popeye Saves the World pinball machine? Sure is. Because that sounds amazing. It looks like a boat. Me kids is through round 21, on to 22. Very nice. These are the Meekins in our good friends in Meekins land. By the way, there are only two seasons of the Pac-Man show, and Super Pac does not show up until the second season, as well as Pac-Man's teenage cousin, PJ. Who gotta I gotta give people a reason to watch. I guess he was supposed to... <laughs> yeah, that's why they put the Martian in Flintstones, you know? People just... They're out there asking for PJ. Who who doesn't want the great kazoo? I, he's great! He's not. He's really he's a not. Kazoo. It's in his name! He sucks. <laughs> yeah, the, the great... Uh, the uh, wizard, the great and magical Oz. Yeah, whatever. He sucked too. He wasn't even a Martian. He was a, like a salesman or something. At least for Wicked, if you if you dig Wicked's lore. And he I was have no horse in this race. And per <laughs> Wicked lore, he was the father of the Wicked Witch of the West, huh? Yeah, I... that's right. He went and uh, got and. Yeah, it's his, it, it's his reason she's green, okay? That's what I'm saying, okay? Are we still talking about the Jetsons? <laughs> no! Or the Flintstones? No, no, no! The wizard was not the Great Kazoo's father, but he might have been. <laughs> Honestly, that would, that would explain a lot. <laughs> okay, I just... I got confused and lost where the train of conversation might be. We can see some great jumping here. I'm going to be honest. I'm very impressed. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, this what game is hard. Wait, did Meekins just jump off of the death plane? Yes, and I have no idea what they might have jumped off of. Uh, I oh, know if they had one more life, they'd respawn right there and finish the stage. I know of a few games that you can jump off of the death plane, so... I wouldn't be too surprised if Meekins literally landed on the death plane and did a frame perfect jump off of it because that happens. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't see like a way to 
really use the death plane to your advantage in this game, but it is pretty cool. Yeah. And, you know, you know, there's always the other planes, which are not death planes. They're just ghosts and airplanes. Oh, did you know when this game, when, when the show came out? Yeah, see? See? Freight Look perfect. at that! Freight perfect! So, apparently there was controversy when the Pac-Man show started up. The Hanna-Barbera Pac-Man show. Because, okay. uh... Scenes of Pac-Man chomping the ghost monsters and being chomped himself were considered too violent. These scenes were toned down in subsequent episodes to provide less direct scenes of the characters chomping one another. Wait, did he just I... like rip his teeth out and like dig into the ghost like I cannot I this is an injustice. I cannot believe they took Pac-Man's teeth away. Oh my gosh. I kind of want to see what they considered too violent, okay? I, I'm kind of glad they took Pac-Man's teeth away, because Pac-Man with, like, human teeth would be pretty creepy. <laughs> Venbright exclaiming what in chat here, um, realizing that the springboard is all the way to the left. Which, you know, still a better circumstance than round 29, Oh. Which doesn't have a springboard. So, Vembrite is also learning that uh, when an enemy, when you're riding an enemy and it pushes you and it's bad, uh, like if it pushes you against a cactus and it's moving up, sometimes you get stuck on the cactus and sometimes the mo enemy moves up and kills you because that's fan freaking tastic, isn't it? Good video oh, yeah. game design right here, everybody. Y'all wanted a master class on video game design? Well, this isn't it, but it certainly is a cl My gosh, these, this, I hate the minion ghost, okay? The minion ghost is ruining everything. 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 Yep, the ghost spawns, you can kind of delay your fall a little bit. Like you can kind of move a little bit the other way. It, or, you know, you can more realistically just kind of pray. Ah, the pink ghost getting meekins. Like, I, I'm sorry, all of the other ghosts look like ghosts because that's just how they look. But the yellow ghosts, they're absolutely just minions. They're proto-minions. This is what minions become when they die. They're just minions forever. Just minions forever. You know, I like this lore. I'm into it. Minions all the oh. way down. Oh, Van Bright, you made it! Oh my oh. gosh! And then he kissed you. Cute. Still got all his lives. The uh, the part where they turned around a little bit scared me. They could also ride a ghost if they want, or they can just jump. That's fine too. Okay, let me just say, some of these, some of these episode names for the Pac-Man show suck. Okay. Sir Chomp a lot. I guess it's supposed. It's like Sir Lance a lot, but it's Chomp a lot. Yeah, that's great. Uh, Neander Pac-Man. Like, Neander Pac- N-E-A-N-D-E-R? Ne yeah, like Neanderthal, but they changed Thal to... Alright. Pac-Man, because that is absolutely how language works. Like, it would have been better as Neander pac -thal. Like, I would have gotten that one. That would have been a little better. <laughs> Meekins is through. Venbright has figured out that, that terrible, terrible water section. And has ended up in Nevada briefly. How about well, trick? Proto Nevada. Trick or chomp? Chomp. Chomp. You are chomp are every you... time. Ooh. Let's go with chomp. Okay. This... You know what chomp is. You don't know what trick is. This one's pretty good. Pacula. Okay. It's like Dracula, but it's Pac-Man Dracula. Pacula. Yeah, that. That's a little better. <laughs> Uh, okay, what was this one that actually made me hurt? Uh, okay, like, whenever I, because they keep saying Super Pack, I just keep thinking of, uh, <laughs> the organizations that donate towards politicians, and I can't hear it any other way, because we've got, like, uh, here's Super Pack, the Super Pack Bowl. Oh my gosh, how about the old Pac-Man and the sea? That sounds like a great freaking episode. 
big fan. Yeah. Ben has declared this the, uh, and I quote, the... This may be the single rudest piece of level design I've ever encountered. And the, the worst part about that is, if this isn't even round 29. Okay. Where you don't even get the springboard. Okay, okay, one more episode, and I'm gonna ask you to finish the name of the title here, okay? I'm sure I'm you ready. can do it. I'm okay. training my whole life Here for we this. go. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Chomp. Nope. Dang. I was so close. No. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Pac-Man. Come on. <laughs> 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 Come on. Oh, people in chat were right. It is just Pac-Man. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Pac-Man. How about Boo. Super Pac versus Pac-Ape? That is... Pac Van Winkle. That... Okay, I almost like that one. How does pose the question of, is this the most arcade accurate version of the game? And yes, right behind the Lynx version. Wait, the Lynx version is slightly more accurate? No, uh, right ahead of the Lynx version, which oh. plays really slow and jankily, but it is this game and, you know, it, it plays all right. The only thing they took out of this game is they, uh, well, first off, they went with the Japanese version of the game uh, in terms of its difficulty, because the American arcade version moves a lot, lot faster, and it's kind of brutal. Um, as well, they took out the warps in this game because every stage of Pac- or of, rather, sorry, in the first trip of Pac-Man- Pac-Land in the arcade, if you have over 10,000 points and you do this very specific set of things in stage two, you will, um, you will be warped ahead to, I believe, round nine. Well, by very specific, you push a log to the left. Yeah, then Bright, by the way, was making a note in Discord that uh, he skipped one of the power pellets, hoping that it would spawn later on in the level. That's really optimistic. Yeah. I'm so excited for Mikan to finish round 25. Because at that point, that's it. That's, that's, we're not calling it that, but that's not done at this point. You mean because finish I don't think level 24? Getting... Yeah, getting past 24, because I don't think they're going to be able to do much in 25, and I cannot wait to see it. But, you know, they'll try for the next eight minutes. Oh, yeah, you better try. This is Kuso Grande. This isn't, hey, let's just go ahead and relax and not play the bad video game, Grande. And not so, play the bad video game Grande. That's a really long name. Like, how would I even fit that on the layout? Holy crap. Come no! On. Oh. Jumping into the... Is that a red ghost or is it a brown ghost? Like, I'm a little colorblind and for me it looks brown. It is red. Well, it looks like poop to me, okay? Like a dark red. It looks like poop. I think I just saw Venbrite. Zip. Uh, yeah, Ven is a little bit confused about what happened, and I'm assuming it was when you saw the zip. Yeah. Was it a horizontal I... zip? It was a vertical zip. Okay. I need to investigate this. I'd be less... Like, vertical zips can lead to horizontal zips. I know this. Uh, and yes. any, any zip is a potential for for hope. So Mikan, what Mikan could be doing here is just running along the top of that green building and jumping when a ghost comes over. You will have to come back down when it starts to get messy like this, but... Okay. Oh my god, power pellet! No, get the power pellet! No! <laughs> okay, they're at the end. There they go. Alright, oh we're in gosh. round 25! Yeah, so you're gonna say Meekins will make no more progress, right? We'll st I want to be proven wrong very badly, but... Round 25 is... Oh. oh my gosh. Let me just tell you, somebody sent me a picture of a dancing Cyberman from Doctor Who. And was... Because I was talking about how, uh... 
before I die, I want to I want to become part robot. And he sent me that. And I'm like, I don't want to be a Cyberman. I'd rather be a, a Dalek. And he's like, what's a Dalek? And I'm like, how the crap could you send me a picture of a Cyberman and no, not know what a Dalek is? Oh, Meekins First is like... jump accomplished. Okay, Meekins said, I see now. I'm going to die here. <laughs> <laughs> Meekins is past the first log. Well, not now, but... <laughs> oh, there we go! Almost to the second log! Yeah, this is this is why I say stage 5. Pro like, that's when this game says no. No more humanity. Okay, now nah, this is this is definitely doable, I swear. It is. You need to wait, then find the needle, thread it, and then just figure out the rest of the stage now that you're through the first jump. Perfect. <laughs> I think everything just killed Meekins right there. <laughs> yeah, ghost along everything. What I really want to see, and like this is where a little advanced knowledge would come into handy if they can get through the first few jumps. Is that, um, there are power-ups in this game. And we haven't seen a single one because they're not very mm, obvious on how to get them. Yeah. And it is, you need to push an object to the left early on in the stage in round one, in the first round of a trip. Yep. And that will give you a helmet. Helmets make the little ghosts that fall not hurt you anymore. Yeah, good luck so, getting that during this. Yep. Can you, still you get it from do... one of the earlier rounds and carry it on there if you don't you will... die? Or do you, you will lose it? it? Okay. Hey, Ventritus <laughs> through round 20 on to round oh my 21! Gosh. Like That's the furthest I've ever seen anyone get through 25. Right there? Yep. Wow. Ah! I hate this minion ghost. This is incredible. <laughs> yeah, as far as I'm concerned, this is this is this is a kill screen at this point. Yeah, yeah. Nah. This is 100% you know. doable by humans, okay? We have Oh my gosh, there's the poop ghost. World record makes it to round 32. What world record are you talking about? If you're talking yeah, about there's... round 32 world record, then obviously it makes it to round 32. There's no Pac-Lan Pro world record. Tweet it. Wait, how many rounds are there total in the game? 32. Well then. What's the highest round you've actually been to, though? In Pro? Yeah, 25. I stopped playing around 15. Oh. Wait, you've never made it as far as Meekins? No, because I'm not going to do this to myself. <laughs> this is what gaming is all about. This right here, Pac killing Pac-Man over and over. That's video games. Yeah, no, I'm just like, you know what? I'm going to stick with the four trips category. <laughs> Dude. Oh my gosh. People are asking, is this a ROM hack? Nope. No. This no. is uh this is pro difficulty for pac -Land. I I would say that world record on not pro difficulty is definitely through round 32. But Yeah, you know Yeah, you know, we actually beat the game in the speed run of not pro. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is just I, I'm really excited that Meekins has gotten here and has blessed us with this. See ya. But also, I look forward to you beating round 25 for a century because you keep saying it's doable. It's gotta be. Right? You know what else is doable? It's Silver Sword. Oh, okay, no, no, you're you're exaggerating here. Meekins, stop dying. Come on. Come on. Stop dying, he says. Oh, okay, it's just that easy. 
Point and click, I Windows did... 98, baby, let's go. Oh my gosh, I didn't even say it was that easy. I just said to stop dying. <laughs> it's like, oh, stop breathing, cat. Guess what? You probably get for a minute or so, but you're going to breathe. I'm very good at not breathing for like 30 seconds. <laughs> Same. What, what about 10 minutes? Can't do it. I mean, Guybrush Threepwood can do it. <laughs> I mean, not I could theoretically on, like though, he doesn't have as good lungs in the last game. Like, I can hold her. I can old. hold my breath. Well, yeah, I can hold my breath longer than Guybrush Threepwood can once. Well, I mean, so does everybody. With that said, that is time, everybody. Throw your hands up in the air for this madness that we had. God, I wish someone would pass this. I am asking them to come. If they would like to come and chat, I would love to have some thoughts about this game. Uh, and it looks like Ven is here. Hello, Ven Bright. Welcome. Hello. Hi. I, it took me far too long to realize why you said, hey, don't buy turbo buttons for this game. Oh, turbo would have made it very easy. Oh yes, that. I now I now understand. Yeah. How dare you? <laughs> uh, yeah, Meekin, I think you figured it out like a little too quickly because Ben was stuck on those uh, the jump the platforms jump. for the longest time. Yeah, that's yeah. That's I want to say I, I didn't finish the first trip until like thirty minutes in. You you caught up pretty quickly. Like you were on twenty one. Yeah. and Meekin hit the wall of twenty five. All right. You know what? Considering oh, really? I have no complaints. Yeah, honestly, you were making a lot of uh, up a lot of time, and it was completely like but half an hour in. I was like, Venbright could definitely catch up. Like there, it is still possible because this game's difficulty just goes up and up and up and up. And uh -huh. uh, okay. Meekin kind of knows that. So, so Meekin, when you made it to level twenty, did you also just have a really long level with like one enemy total, or was that just something weird with my game? Was that the There's... one where you go left? Yeah, that's like trip five on the way back, yeah. Yeah, I think that was just like a race against the clock sort of thing. I think that's there what There are was. two yeah, enemies okay. total in that level. Those are the ghosts are on strike. <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah, they I think deserve, whenever whenever you run deserve out of, better wages, I'm sure. Whenever you run out of time, the ghost that follows you, I think, just goes faster or tries to kill you. Yeah, I think that's the, the one time that I ran out of time and it actually, like, attacked me. Yeah, I think was that was on the one of the construction stages. Let's just to go fast. Yeah, Sue gets out for blood on that one. No, it was the first one with the keys that got me. Yeah. Uh, where the ghost got me for the timer. Absolutely. And then, luckily, it respawned me right at the exits. So like, okay. <laughs> it was great. So, Mickens, you you hit what I effectively call the end of this, the end of promo. There's 32 rounds, but I don't. And Brosentia will argue with me on this. I don't think 25 is doable by a human. I disagree. I think it's doable. I mean, I bet if you know exactly all the right inputs and stuff, sure. Yeah. You'd have to be like. Zen mode. You could only do this stage blindfolded, I bet, actually. Honestly, it, it does get uh, worse. Well, not worse. Like, if you play past 25, like, use the warp to see, like, round 31, it just gets absurd. Oh, here, I'll go to... In 32, also. Yeah, I, I did a little bit of round 32 a long time ago. Let me get rid of this really chill music. Dark Cloud, you're cool. Uh, but we, we can listen to Meekin's stream a little bit more right, if you. We, we oh, never mind. I hear my own well, voice. Probably over there. not. You probably are going to. That's what you enjoy. Let's not do this dark very, level. very good video game in a very brutal mode of it. <laughs> <laughs> I had a good time. I was. I had a good time. I just loaded up round twenty five out of curiosity. <laughs> oh yeah. Good luck taking a single step. <laughs> uh, so would you rather play this or Z SNES um, Gradius three? I've played ZSNES Guardians 3, so I have no frame of reference. God. <laughs> I loaded up round 32. Isn't this now beautiful? It's just, you know, uh, the game where oh. you dodge, dodge. Is it all water? If it's all water, there's not going to be any checkpoints. Oh, no. It's all water. Oh, gosh. Oh, hold on. You said round 31? 32. 32. 31, 31 is brutally day. difficult okay. also, and I recommend giving it a shot, but, you know. I 32 see. is the final round in the game. It is just a all... Yes. Yo. Once you realize that you can like kind of stand on their heads a little bit. 
Yeah, you can scroll the screen to the right and get on a ghost and ride it to the left, but you will hit something on the way to the left. Like, yeah. these minion ghosts, that's the the yellow ones absolutely look like minions. I, I still insist. Uh, <laughs> they do. But they're, they absolutely destroy all hopes and dreams. Like, on pogo my, sticks after round 25, like, oh, everything is... My, my favorite point about this game's aesthetic is... How do we make Pac-Man feel more mature and advanced? I know. Let's give everyone a hat. <laughs> yeah. The ghosts get a hat. Pac-Man gets a hat. hat. Everyone gets a hat, so they're more complicated shapes. He's he's got a hat like Knuckles in that one Sonic movie. That makes him different. Uh, he's wearing that hat in um, the Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog as well. Actually, if you have. Oh, good. I that. plan to play that. Ooh, crap. that's good to know. I haven't played that Terrible. yet either. I've seen one screenshot of Knuckles, and he's wearing the the Australian OVA hat in his like outfit. That's great. Shadow <laughs> looks like he just got off shift working at Starbucks. It's very funny. <laughs> there is a second hat in this game. Oh, there is. Second it makes you uh, it makes you immune to the ghosts that fall from the sky. Wow. Like the little baby ghosts. Okay. How do you how do you get that? How do you get that? Um, on stage one, just push everything to the left, like all the hydrants. You'll find it eventually. Yep. You can move yeah. the hydrants. Uh, the, there is one only from the right in every side. Stage. Yeah, because one object in every stage that you can push. Towards. And if you oh, die really? before pushing it, you can't push it after that. It's. Yep. Oh, that's incredible. And you have to oh, push yes. it from the right to the left. Yep. So. I got so, a baseball hat. Nice. So what happened with me, with me being stuck on that first trampoline <laughs> for like 30 years, was just every time he would like float for a second because I pressed, you know, the left or right button again, I just thought that there was an invisible platform. Oh! oh. And so that's why I was always falling on those exact same spots. I'm like, okay, are there invisible platforms underneath where the melons spawn? Because the melons spawn at the same spot every single time. Ah, I see. What and what happening with me was I was encountering like Pac-Man like stuttering for a second. I thought I had just hit the edge of an invisible platform and that's what the game expected of me. Yeah, oh, that makes so much more sense because I kept seeing you like kind of like, oh, there, there's a hover. Oh, nope, nope, he's not doing it again. Yeah, I, I didn't realize that it was a hover for the longest time. I thought I was hitting an invisible platform. What was exactly, like, the input? Because I just smashed all my buttons, and it worked. I uh, mashed the left button, the button for left, because I have it set for a buttons one and two is left and right, and then all four other buttons are jump. More or less. It's just mashing one of the buttons. <laughs> just I, I mash all button. of them. <laughs> I just mashed uh, the, the, the left button. And I didn't, the one I didn't advantage have that I out. had that helped me keep up was all of my experimentation, figuring out how in the by Joe that uh, those hovers worked, was I got very comfortable with, like, the way that momentum affects jumps. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, I was getting that That as is well. the reason why I was able to catch up as quickly as I did, was yeah. I yeah. got a very good feel for, like, when I got a short jump versus a long jump for, like, short run-ups. And that oh. helped a lot. Yeah, somebody, uh, KM in chat is saying I used to waggle left, right when I played pack. Yeah, it's just, it's tricky. Just, at the same time, like, uh, if you were using Turbo, which normally is allowed for Turbo Graphics games, I normally... Uh, we would have had to go through a little extra setup in order to get that to work uh, exactly oh, right for this game. But That's what have, would have made it easier, I see. Yeah, it yeah. yeah. makes it easier and you move faster than you okay. normally would. Oh. Sure. <laughs> yeah. I mean, honestly, I'm not sure I would want to move faster than I normally would. I feel like that makes <laughs> yeah. it all the more harder to control. As part of moving faster, you also lose a bit of control. Oh, a bit, yeah. you say. Yeah. A bit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, you, had fun with it. You lose fine motion, so like when you hit the button, depending on what frame it is, you'll either take off running or you'll take a small step forward at mm. first. I will yeah. say that like I think Pac-Land is genuinely in some regards a, a great game, but Pro Mode is just like absolutely brutal and mm. uh, for all intents and purposes, not beatable. Uh, although hashtag doubt Hashtag doubt. <laughs> I don't. I don't I, know anybody who's done it myself, but hashtag doubt. 
I mean, it can, minus the poor part where I got stuck, I legitimately enjoyed myself until I tried floor 25 <laughs> after. <laughs> yeah, I, I I had a good time. There there were one stage that brought about a ton of like double decker buses. I spent way too long on that stage, and I think. I didn't enjoy that one too much, but I'm pretty sure I that's that floor 21 where I ended. Yep. But I was able to consistently get through it by the end of the by the time time went off. Yay. The thing you can also do in that stage is stand on top of a fire hydrant and it will fire you upwards. And mm -hmm. you can stand on a lot of the buildings as long as you can see the roof. What? Oh, really? I didn't know you could stand on the. <laughs> OK, because like I understood how the fire hydrants work, because that's exactly how Pac-Man works in Smash, right? Like is down yeah. to the hydrant, and the hydrant is based on the pac -Land hydrant. My I, gosh! I, 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 Smash taught you how to play pac -Land. <laughs> I mean, on the 3DS version of Smash for we, uh, Smash for 3DS, redundant. Pac-Land <laughs> is just a stage. It's yeah, true, like, it's true. It's a medley of the stages of this game. Yeah, and so, like, that's why I was kind of confident going into this. I'm like, hey, I've never played the game before, but I've played a better version of it on played smash <laughs> land before yeah, that probably land. translates pretty well I'm... i mean and also like i said yeah and also the hydrants or is, is pac-man's down b and i love playing pac i have his amiibo right here actually because Aww. how hard is it to it's difficult to find a good tiny figure of pac-man's classic design it's true that isn't like mm -hmm. ghostly adventures pac-man with his horrifying eyes yeah <laughs> Well, they do shoot you up. You're yeah, right. I, I do have other stuff that uh, is going to be on the channel after this, so I, I'm going to have to cut this a little bit short. Uh, <laughs> but that's it. Meek and... Wait. Sh no, I, I got to do okay. an outro for them, okay? Meek and does I... take the victory and moves on in the winner's bracket. Yay. Then you're still in it. You're heading down to the loser's bracket, and we'll have another Iron GM, but you're still in it, so... Best yep, of have... luck there. Uh, Meekin, are you streaming anything these days? Yeah, on and off. Uh, I played Picross yesterday, and on Sundays, I've been doing a fun little draw thing on my stream where I give people prompts and they draw like video game characters for me without Aww. looking up what they look like. Oh, that's... <laughs> is it from memory or is it just based yeah. on the description and they're not familiar with the character? Like, this week we're doing like... We're doing Bowser, Magneto, and Dr. Wily, so people are sending me drawings of what they look like, but they don't get to look up what they look like, so it's all from memory. It's really funny. Very good. Oh, that sounds <laughs> that sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, I it am is a fun. terrible. I'm a trash artist. Uh, me too. And I would say, like, if I participated, I would send you the most trash. <laughs> that is a okay. All it's all it's all in good fun. Oh, good. <laughs> well, good. I, I'm glad. I happen to like trash, as it turns out. What about you, Ben? <laughs> uh, I know you're in the process of moving or uh, packing, and it's been a little bit busy for you. Are you streaming anything else? Um, I haven't really streamed very much ever since I got my current job. So instead, I'm actually going to shout out a previous competitor uh, who is one of my best friends. Um, we actually phased off in round six, and we were both one point away from elimination, and I kicked her out of the tournament. Oh no! And it felt very dramatic because we knew that either one of us or none of us were moving forward. So I'm gonna go ahead and give her a plug instead. It's twitch.tv slash Sarah Hyde, S-A-R-A-H-Y-D-E. Um, she plays a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! She's an Ape Escape speedrunner if you're interested in that. And I think she's been playing a lot of Fire Emblem on her stream lately. Um, Sarah so rocks! Let me tell she you. She does. So please go check her out. She streams way more than I do. And by that, I mean she streams it all. So <laughs> I'm going to use my stream shout out to, to give her some love instead. Sweet. Well, thank you so much. And Flannel Cat, thank you as well. I know that you always have your own stuff going on. Uh, what what are, what are you doing these days? I'm playing video games on twitch.tv slash Flannel Cat. I play video games. Come watch I a love, video game. Come do it, games. cowards. Video Follow games. me. Yeah, she's going to beat Pac-Land Pro soon. Oh boy! Yo! <laughs> oh wait, no, she actually will not. She has promised never to do that. I did not promise never to do that. Yeah, I, that's what I thought. That's soon what I you, heard. Uh, well, soon as you get that sub twenty, I'm on it. Fine, whatever. Yeah. 
<laughs> Mutually assured destruction present you. Well, that's it for today. Uh, no, we, we've got... Uh, don't make us bored after this, okay? So stay around. We've got games coming up, and uh, Corn Dan also has some crimes that he's going to be playing. I need to run to the restroom, so I'll nice. let all three of you go as I run away for about a minute. See you in one minute, everybody. Goodbye. Bye, Thanks friends. Bye-bye. Yeah, thank you, Ben. Bye. Bye-bye.